Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I really wanted to do something very different. I wanted to have a chit chat with you and just kind of talk with you, like hang out, like two friends just talking and let you know what projects I'm working on, why I'm working on them, some things that are happening with Hooked for Hope, and just really give you an inside look on what's going on here with Hooked for Hope and what I'm working on. Uh, the other day, I have been, or lately, I have been feeling like I just really wanted to hang out with people and talk crochet. I used to hang out with uh, my great friend Bobby, who is probably watching this video right now. Uh, we would hang out every other week and just crochet together, and I miss that so much. Um, just feeling like the need for a, a really good blanket crochet project, you know, where you're just chilling. It's just hanging out and working on a project. That just sounds so incredible to me right now. There's actually a couple project, uh, blanket projects that I have in mind that I could absolutely dive into just to get a head start. Um, but yeah, that's kind of something that I've been feeling the itch to do. It's just a really good blanket project. And I'm sure a lot of you are too, because blanket projects are the most popular viewed uh, crochet videos on YouTube. It just takes a while to put them together. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll get started on one just so I can have a finished product for you that you can actually view and see. Uh, that will be a lot of fun. But yeah, this video, I wanted to talk about some of the projects that I am currently working on. Uh, the projects that I have on deck that I have everything set aside to work on. Uh, talk about some of the things that I have. I'll just dive into it, really. This is my first real chit-chat video, so it's going to be an experiment. But I am looking forward to more chit-chat videos where I can talk to you just more informally, more as a friend, just, just talking and just um, kind of giving you a little insight on things that I know and things that I'm working on. So one of the projects, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or even Twitter, uh, I posted finishing this beauty right here. It is a, it's a rainbow pillow. Uh, my mother-in-law had somebody, um, or heard that somebody had lost a baby and they were looking for somebody who crochets that might be able to replicate a, a rainbow pillow that they had seen. And my mother-in-law was like, hey, I know somebody. And so they instantly started chatting with me about the creation of this project. The project that they wanted me to replicate was a paid for pattern and an actual paid for product. And I knew that I could not, um, make something and share it with all of you that was something that you had to pay for. That is a rule that I have on my YouTube channel that all the patterns that I show you are either ones that I have made myself or free patterns that are freely available to the public. And I'm just helping you along with that pattern. That is my rule. Uh, so I had to create this pattern all on my own. It does look different than the uh, pillow, the rainbow pillow that they wanted me to replicate. It's similar, but it has my own flair. That way I am not copying and I am very, very excited. The fact that I created this pattern myself means that I am going to be able to share it with you. Uh, it was actually kind of funny because in order to make the rainbow a pillow, like a two or a three-dimensional object, it's actually an oval shape. It's a, a long oval that I just folded in half. <laughs> so while I was creating this and updating people on my social media, people were like, you're making a rug, that looks great. And I'm like, yeah, it does kind of look like a rug. And yeah, it does kind of look like a really nice rug, <laughs> but it's not a rug, it's rainbow. <laughs> so I am going to put it out there as an option if you want to make the heartfelt, beautiful. I mean, even if it's not a, a rainbow pillow you're making in sentimental, for sentimental reasons, uh, it's still a really cute rainbow pillow that you can make. And I plan on actually making this pillow in these colors right here, which I'm super excited about. These are going to be great. So it's, uh, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby in linen. And 
terracotta and in sun gold. So I will make sure when I do make this tutorial that I post those colors. Uh, and when I do upload this live or this chit chat video, I will go ahead and put the materials of the project I'm working on in the notes section below if you want to purchase them in or to get ready for a video that I will have coming. But before I release this uh, pattern to you, I want to make it again because this is my first go at making this pattern and I want to make sure that it is exactly what I want it to be and that I have maybe really polished all of the instructions before I present it to you. That way there aren't any hiccups. I'm confident in the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm really excited about that. Um, the other project that I have working is this beauty, which I actually just revealed in my social media today. So here, here, I mean, it's a work in progress. So you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, but it's going to be a hooded blanket slash hooded towel for uh, an infant toddler. Uh, when I was making the folded pot holders, I actually got inspired by that whole um, where you take the rectangle and you fold it forward. The first time I folded it forward, I was like, oh, that could be a hood. <laughs> and so it inspired this idea that I could make a hooded blanket. And I was like, hooded blanket. Well, it's baby season right now. People are doing a lot of baby projects or kid projects right now. And I was like, Oh, I don't see, I haven't seen many videos on making like a crocheted towel for baby because obviously when babies take their baths, you put them in a hooded towel to keep them warm. And this was just something that I thought would be a really sweet idea. But in order to make anything that's going to get wet, the yarn needs to be cotton. So I went to the store and I was looking at all the cottons and there's a, actually a lot of different types of cotton yarn out there. And I found this one. Again, it is Hobby Lobby because I just, guys, I went to Hobby Lobby and I kind of went crazy. I, I had my, I had a moment where I was going down the aisle and just getting inspired everywhere I looked. And I was like, ooh, I could make this. And Oh, I could make that and oh, I can't wait to make a tutorial for this and that and so I I had to reel myself in I took a check, but I was like, okay, what big projects? Can I actually? Make sure that this makes sense for uh, and this was one of them and this is 100% cotton it is A size 5 bulky yarn which makes me believe that when I do release this pattern and I explain the materials that I am going to be very aware that there's a, not a lot of size five cotton, 100% cotton out there. And so I will try to make adjustments for the size four cotton and the size three cotton because there's a lot more options in that regard. But this yarn is so cool. Look, look at that. Like the texture is just so neat and the pattern is so easy it's just a half double crochet everywhere it's crazy easy it's the the yarn itself looks gorgeous and i can't wait to finish this and show you it can either because it's 100 percent cotton it, you can either use it as a bath time a uh, towel look how thick it is y'all look how thick that is like when i saw how thick it was and i was making this up i'm like Oh my gosh, that is going to be warm and it's cushy. And I was like, you don't even have to use it as a towel. Just like wrapping baby in the winter. This is going to be major. I am so excited about this. This is going to be really, really nice. So I'm finishing up this project right now. And as soon as I'm finished with that pattern, creating that, then I will make sure that I put together a tutorial for you on that. Uh, another project that I have in the works. So I've had people reach out to me and ask me for specific projects. Uh, I have a an ad adult beanie, a, just a plain adult beanie uh, video that I'm recording later today. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to start making uh, plain beanies in all sizes. So I'm going to have adult and then I'm going to go in child size and then down. And I'm going to go uh, toddler, then 
12 to 9 month, 9 to 6 month, 6 to 3 month, 3 to 0 month. And I'm going to start with the just basic beanie because most of the beanies that I have created patterns for, like I have a unicorn beanie and I have a reindeer beanie and I have just a cat ear beanie that my daughter, who's 12, wants me to make her. And I have lots of character beanies that I've created off of this base beanie. So once I show you how to make the base beanie, it'll be so much quicker for me to show you how to make the character beanies. Because I'll just say, refer to the base beanie. Refer to the base beanie, just use this color, and then come back for these additional pieces that we're going to add on to it. So I'm really, really excited about that that's coming up. I've had some people that are brand new to crochet. Welcome all of you brand new crocheters. And I have a couple basic videos, crochet basic videos. I have a playlist, but uh, I've neglected it. I need to go back and kind of add a few more things in there, how to do some basic crochet moves. Um, there's a couple there. I've had somebody reach out and ask me to do the sweet stitch, the sweet crochet stitch. I looked into it. It is a beautiful stitch. So I'm going to start doing swatches of patterns, but I'm going to do swatch pattern videos a little differently than what I have seen. I might be wrong. There might be other people that have done swatch videos like this, but um, what I've heard from people is that they will get this pattern, they will watch a tutorial to do this crochet stitch, and they love the crochet stitch, but then they don't know what to do with it, or they don't know how many foundation row stitches would make the size item that they want to make with it. So what I'm going to help out with is I'm going to show you the stitch in a swatch form, and then following that, I'm going to present you with, okay, here are different sized projects that you can possibly make with this stitch and here are a rough guideline on how many chains would go in that foundation row now everybody's crochets can be different some are, people are going to crochet a tighter tension some people are going to have a looser tension some people are going to use different types of yarn and i will try to address that in the video too uh, but I really want to not just show you how to do the stitch, but then also help you to actually make something with the stitch, if that makes any sense. So um, there's a lot of people out there that just have a hard time with math. They really struggle with stitch count requirements and uh, multiples of this plus that. And so I really just want to help out that way you're enjoying the art of crochet and not getting tied up with with the other stuff, if that makes sense. So uh, making this gorgeous shawl right here. Again, it's another one of those items. I just started making patterns. I don't know what got into me, but I just got inspired to just start creating patterns. Um, it's going to be a rectangular shawl. It starts with uh, the single crochet back loop only line. And then I go into this really pretty airy pattern that I am loving for hotter weather, summer, and even early fall. I'm really excited about this pattern. I'm literally on this part of it <laughs> where I'm finishing it up and then I will uh, double check the pattern and show you, present it to you. So I'm gonna also include the yarn that I made this shawl with in the note section below. So if you want to just be ready for that video, you'll be ready. Uh, the... So projects that I have, I'm working on right now, it's the rainbow pillow, the towel, the baby bath towel slash really comfy cotton hooded blanket, the rectangle shawl, I am working on the baby grab ball. This is ridiculously easy, guys. It looks complicated, but when I show you how to do it, you're going to be like, that's it, really? So again, it's still baby season. We're still making things for baby. It's still fun to make things for baby. So I'm going to do a video on the baby grab ball. Uh, <laughs> my, I have a great friend, Hannah Golden, and then also my mom, they didn't even talk to each other and they both were like, you have to make these cat butt coasters. I just 
love these so much. They make me laugh so much. The first time I saw them, I laughed so hard. I was on the floor like, really? Those? Those are so silly, but yet so cute. Oh my gosh. So these are going to be great to, to make to give to people because they're going to just adore these. They're going to show these off. They're going to love them. Uh, they're also going to be great items to sell because of their their value and how they just make people laugh. And they, they just make you smile. They make you want to show somebody like, look at these. Oh, my gosh. And there's a lot of cat lovers out there. So these are awesome. Okay, and I am starting on the compass blanket. I know somebody asked me to make the compass blanket. So I already have the crochet hook in the yarn that I am going to initiate the compass blanket. Okay. I think I covered all of the projects. Sound good. Okay. Moving on from that, uh, talking about Christmas. So this July, I'm going to start sneaking in Christmas videos, holiday videos, stuff to get ready for the holidays because you don't want to you don't want November, November, December to come along and then all of a sudden, oh, here's some Christmas videos. Some of us need a lot more time to prep, especially if we want to make mass quantities of something to give as gifts. So just wanted to give you a heads up starting in July. I'm going to start sneaking holiday videos, how to do holiday things. If there is anything holiday related that you are curious on how to make, um, you want to just know how to make a certain specific something, please feel free to comment below and I will definitely look into that. Um, I got I got invited recently to be part of the Christmas in July fairies. I am still batting back and forth if I want to participate or not because if you haven't heard of this yet, the Christmas in July fairies is a bunch of crocheters uh, that are getting together, a bunch of YouTube content or crochet content creators have been invited to all come together, collaborate, and be part of this Christmas in July fairies um, thing where our individual channels will run a contest and randomly pick a winner who will go into the finalist contest and the finalist winner will receive a free item from every single Christmas in July fairy. And so I am going back and forth on whether or not I want to participate. Um, I think I will though. I think you will very soon see a video from me in regards to the Christmas in July fairies. That just seems like such a really cool idea. I'm, I'm in to collaborating. I'm into making people feel special and I'm, I'm just really thinking that I'm going to participate in that. Uh, I have gotten merchandise y'all like I'm so excited so recently my channel got accepted to do merchandise and I love my logo uh, my logo is the circle which you're probably very well familiar with I got two things I got a shirt and a tank top um, but it says hooked for hope it has my little dandelion my little wish that is again symbolizing hope and just bringing happiness and wish and love and hope to the world through crochet. So I got my shirt that I'm going to wear all the time. And I got this tank top. And you can easily find this on my YouTube channel, which I was like, that is super cool. So if you wanted to get something with my logo on it, that would be really cool. I'm going to go ahead and donate a partial percentage of the proceeds to St. Jude Children's Hospital. I really, really love that charity organization and what they do. And I am really looking forward to continuing to help, help them by donating to them. So yeah, anything that is purchased off of my YouTube merchandise, I'm going to donate a percentage to St. Jude with that money. Okay. Um, Gosh, is there anything else that I wanted to talk about? Oh, let me see. Oh, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, Christmas craft fairs. So for years, I was involved in holiday bazaars and Christmas craft fairs. And my favorite were the ones thrown uh, as fundraisers for high schools. Those were my absolute favorite ones to attend. Um, this year, I really, really wanted to be a part of a Christmas craft holiday show, bazaar, whatever they call it. There's lots of different names. Um, 
for a high school to participate because I had so much fun before and I didn't participate last year and I was excited to jump in. But with uh, the way things are going right now with COVID and with um, schools kind of still being up in the air and when they're even going to start their school year back up, um, I'm a little concerned about the the number of people that will actually come to the Christmas fair. Uh, I'm concerned about um, just wanting to make sure that it's worth my time. Uh, and that's is, it bums me out a lot because I love to help the high schools. I love to participate in the fundraiser and I love to meet the people that see my crocheted items. I really, really wanted to join this year. I might still, uh, depending on how things look come August and September, I might still join a, a Christmas craft fair this year. But right now I'm thinking I'm going to wait a year. Uh, but I still want to create a video on how I or the, the things that I would make for a Christmas craft fair. Because last year I didn't participate, but the year before that I did really, really well. And I wanted to just share the things that I made, the mindset that I had on what I put on my table uh, that sold really, really well to just help you if you need some ideas, if you want some help on things that you can make. Um, last year I did attend some Christmas craft shows and bazaars. I went as a customer and there were a lot of crochet booths that I saw that it just looked like they needed direction. It looked like they made a bunch of amazing things, but they were, they were missing the mark. And I want to help. I want to be helpful. I want to just ha give you some direction that, um, will help you not waste your time, waste your energy, waste your supplies. I want you to be successful. I want you to make some money and I want you to just have a great time and really re represent crochet uh, as a beautiful art form that it really is. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, so I will at least release a video on things that I would put on my table if I did participate in a craft fair this year and I will keep you updated on if that changes if I do find a craft show that I want to participate in so all right guys I have just talked a long long time I've opened up about a lot of projects I'm working on why I'm working on them things that are going on behind the scenes with hooked for hope um I really hope you liked this little chit chat I really hope you like this just hanging out with me and just talking and um I'll try to make it a, a more regular thing without impeding on a lot of my tutorials because I have so many tutorials that I am working on and I need to get out. So no, this is not going to be a weekly thing. It might be a monthly thing or even an every six month thing um, as, as it comes up. And if something comes up that I just want to talk to you about, sound good? All right. Thank you so much for following me, guys. Thank you for spending time with me. I just love and appreciate you all. Um, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you very soon with my next tutorial. Bye, guys. <laughs>